Hi guys. Uh, first of all, apologies for not doing a video in a very long time. Um, but today I thought I'd take an opportunity to make one, um, given that I received some new NATO straps today. So these are Bark and Jack NATO straps. Um, from what I've seen and heard, they seem to be very good quality, and I did want to upgrade some of my cheaper kind of two pound straps um and so today i thought i'd do an opening i'm yet to actually open this pack um and do a little comparison and just perhaps even show you how they look on uh a speedmaster moonwatch so um as you can see the packs pretty nice, it's nice and slim. Um, it's even been sealed with wax. Uh, and then you've got, see the details at the front. Uh, so let's take a look at what we have. Um, so I ordered two straps, I believe. One is a uh, gray and the other is a black. Okay, so that's what you get inside. So I think this will be yeah, the um, sort of details of your order. I need to show you that. Um, and here are the straps. So they come in this sort of homemade, uh, I think it's called a watch sock. Um, it's actually quite a useful thing. I quite like that. It's good quality. It's got the Bark and Jack branding there. So now for the actual straps. Okay. So there's the black, there's the gray. It's got this uh, nice little tag on there. To Nicholas, my name, cheers Adrian. That's pretty cool. Um, so let's take a look. These are definitely quite a different material to the other straps that I have. Um, I believe it's made of a similar material to what you would find on seat belts. Let me just undo this here so I can take out the gray. Right, so here they are. So they feel instantly very different to these kind of straps here. Um, we take a look at the hardware. It's all brushed, as you can see there. Um, brushed and solid they stay in place if you look at these they're simply probably kind of rounded and probably just put into the um and they move around like this they're quite a bit thinner well these are squared and you can't just move them around like that um stitching it looks like there is double stitching as you can see there as opposed to the single stitching on these cheaper ones um, and overall, they just feel just nicer because the, um, the actual weaving is much, uh, much more compact and much smoother than these ones. Um, and it's the same with the gray, really. There's a stitching on the back there. And then at the front, as you can see on the front, actually, the stitching is much neater than at the back. Uh, I guess the front is what matters. Um, another thing you'll notice is that they're slightly longer than your typical NATO's. Um, they're about the same length of this green one here that I've got. Um, this is actually uh, sort of a more expensive NATO than these two. Um, so these are around the kind of two pound range. This was actually the 10 pound range. Um, and it's meant to be sort of a, a high, uh, sort of high quality industrial kind of grade uh, NATO. Um, so here the metal is much thicker, it's brushed off as well. Uh, and it's just a much sturdier strap. Um, it's not very flexible though. So when you do have it on, it's kind of bulky. Um, but again, this is sort of, I guess, a step up in quality from these. Um, yeah, you can see there how much this kind of 
these Bark and Jack ones kind of flop while this one stays pretty stiff. So I guess this, these should wear much more comfortably. But I would say that this quality wise is up there. But again, this doesn't use this kind of seat belt material that these use. Um, the stitching here and the weaving is just not as fine and kind of more rugged than these ones. Um, so overall, I'm, I'm quite impressed with these. I do like also the holes, uh, which are square to match the buckle. And here again, the buckle feels uh, very nice quality. It's got some heft to it. And so does the, the, the pin actually. Uh, as you can see, quite a difference there. The pin's more square. Uh, this is kind of just flicking around and feels almost hollow, while this feels very solid. Another thing to mention, as you can see, there's the Bark and Jack logo there, which is nice. Uh, when comparing it to this one again, this, this one here does feel sturdy, uh, but it does have a hollow feel to it. And I'd say um, the, the buckle on the Bark and Jack ones do feel... Um, Again, slightly more solid to be honest, which is nice. So now I thought, why don't we put it on um, my Speedmaster here? Um, it's just on a, again, another cheap kind of two pound uh, pearl on strap that I got on eBay. Um, so that's how it looks like. Again, this really isn't that high quality. You can see how this pin here just flops around and doesn't even stay centered. You can just move it around like that. It's not great, but I mean, looks wise, I think these look quite nice. Um, so since it was on a gray one, why don't I put it on the gray NATO here? So just put that through. Fits perfectly, by the way. These are the 20 millimeter ones. So if you have, um, uh, a moon watch like I do, uh, the 20 millimeter straps are perfect. Um, just put that in a bit more, pull that through. Hang on, there you go. Right, so there it is on. Um, What's actually different about this is that, as you can see, the two kind of um, uh, threaders here, I don't know if that's what you call them, are much closer together than the, um, I'll take it off here, than the, well, okay, they're slightly closer together uh, than the ones on these cheap ones. And it does keep the watch kind of in this small, space here so it doesn't move around um yeah i think that looks really good Let me just try it on take off my explorer uh actually it'll look quite good on the explorer as well so i tried to put this on in front of camera a little bit of stage fright all good Okay, so that fits nicely, actually, very nicely. Um, that's very comfortable, I have to say. And I prefer tucking it in inwards like so. So you get something like that. And that is a very comfortable, and I'd say smart looking NATO. Um, Apologies for the lighting, it's quite bright and sunny outside, so it's getting a bit dark where I am at the minute. But um, yeah, you can see it in the light, fits very nicely. Um, I'm very happy with this purchase, and I definitely doubt I'll be going to any other kind of brand for NATOs in the future if I wish to purchase any more. This feels very, very soft on the skin, and it, unlike these uh, cheaper kind of stiffer straps um, it wraps very nicely uh, around the wrist and tightly as well um, which you don't always get with these another thing is as well is that you get plenty of material to actually tuck in 
um, where if you have larger risks with these ones, you would find that you hardly have anything to tuck in. Um, so yeah, um, these definitely get my seal of approval. I think they're very high quality and reasonably priced for what you get. Um, if you buy two, uh, you get a discount, or well, at least you do at the time I purchased these. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend you check them out, especially if you live in the UK, because uh, see, shipping is free in the UK and it uh, gets delivered very quickly. I ordered these about two or three days ago, I think, and they've arrived. Um, there's the grey. Can put it on the black as well. Let me do that quickly before I end the video. Just to show you. I've never actually owned a black NATO, so that was the initial one that I really wanted to get. And then when I saw the offer, I decided to go for a grey as well. Actually, if I was more prepared for this video, I would have taken the Explorer off the bracelet and just shown you them on both watches, but that can be done in a later video, I guess. I do plan to be uh, to do a um, state of the collection video, which I believe I promised a while ago in my very first video and it never really materialized. Um, but definitely keep a lookout for that in the next few weeks. I do own more than just this um, Explorer and Speedmaster, so. Don't worry, it won't just be a repeat of this video. Um, and there you go. There it is on black. Uh, again, the lighting's not great, so... Oh, that's better. Good size as well. I have pretty small wrists. Uh, they're just under six and a half inches. You can see there's still uh, three holes left, so... You can definitely have down to six inch wrists, I reckon, and still be able to wear these straps. But yeah, highly recommend. Uh, please leave any comments uh, down below and any questions you have about these, I'll try to answer them as best I can. Uh, but yeah, definitely highly recommended. Thanks very much and see you soon. Uh, be on the lookout for my state of the collection video. Thanks.